welcome back to my channel. So I thought we could do a little like fun makeup look today because I've been wanting to recreate my birthday look for so long because I absolutely loved it. Um, so I had like glitter, pearls, gems, the whole shebang. So I thought we could recreate it today. I've done my hair up like so. I'm gonna pretend like it didn't just take me about an hour to do this. Grab your coffee and Let's do this. I have done my brows. I used the Why Not Cosmetics brow gel and the brow pencil in the shade medium. This combo, still in love. And then to carve out my brows and prime my eyes, I used my collection Last Imperfection Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I think I'm gonna start with my eye base and then move to face and then retouch the eyes. I think that's the plan that's what we're working with. I don't want to do anything too crazy in the eyes because I don't want to take away from the person with glitter. So I'm just going to quickly set my eyes, obviously, because I've got concealer with this shade just here. This is my e.l.f. palette. I love this one. I think I've spoken about it before, actually, in my first Get Ready With Me. So if you haven't watched that, go and watch it. I'll leave it down below. Just gives a nice little coat to work on top of so i'm gonna go in with i'm probably gonna stick with this palette i won't lie to you because i just love it and like i said i don't want anything too in your face so i'm probably gonna stick with this palette so i'm just gonna go in with this shade here just because it's a cooler tone and i'm just gonna use that in the crease just give it a tiny bit of Voila. And I'm just going to take this shade here. I'm going to go in the outer corner. That's with a big fluffy brush. I used the dark shade, literally the tiniest tap ever in the outer corner and up and round just a little bit, not too much. Just for a glitter base, I'm going to be using this, which is a liquid eyeshadow. I don't know where it's actually from. But it's just a glitter liquid eyeshadow. Now I know it's pink. I don't know where my silver one has gone. But it's just a base. So it's all good. I'm literally going to put this all over my lid. And yeah. Then we're going to use some of my glitters. Which were kindly given to me by Ellie. So thank you babe. Do we stick with the pink look? Or do we go with silver, gold, white? I'm gonna go in with the white, I think. With like a glimmer of pink, I think it will look nice. But I'm gonna go in with the white, which is my favorite, as you can tell. I'm gonna do one more coat of this because I can feel it drying already. And I think the white just looks so much better with the pearls and the gems. But I think this is gonna look quite cool with the pink kind of shimmer coming through. Just gonna use this flat brush. It's my favorite brush to use. Picks up the glitter really nicely. And then obviously, cause this is already sticky, the glitter just goes on like a treat. Sometimes I like to use eyelash glue, um, but other times that just really annoys me. So I'm gonna just stick with this. Can you just see that? It's just so pretty. I have done a bit more on my eyes than what I did for my birthday makeup. Um, like, as in colour-wise. I'm going to use whatever is left over on my brush and just pat that on the rest of my eye and kind of even it all out. I'm just going to put some up here. I just did the other eye off camera and also tried to clean up any residue of glitter. But this is what we've got so far. You can see the bit more of a sparkle that I've kind of left on the top we're gonna go in with face now i have already done my moisturizer and everything so we're gonna start with primer i think going with such a glittery look it'll be wrong not to be glowy so i'm gonna use this primer i haven't used this in actually such a long time i actually forgot about it until i just saw it in my makeup collection it's the revolution pro goddess glow primer and i just think it'll be wrong not to have a glow when we have such 
a glittery fun makeup look that we are doing that has given us a nice little glow i'm not actually going to use my halo glow from elf today but i am going to use my fit me like ccbb foundation whatever you really want to call it i don't know what it's actually classed as well that was rude i didn't want such a full coverage foundation because obviously i'm not actually going out so i just wanted a nice medium coverage that just gives me a little bit of something, something to work with like that this is in the shade Soft Ivory 104. See, it's got a nice medium buildable coverage, I think. Um, I'm just gonna put a bit more on that side because I have a few more breakouts on this side. But it does sit so lovely on the skin. But, and it's so light as well that like you forget you're wearing it. And it just looks so nice like it's just evened out your skin and yeah now i'm gonna go in with my very large primark foundation contour stick in the shade honey i actually haven't used this in a while but still very very loved and then i'm just gonna blend that out It's just so easy to blend and it's just so gorgeous. There we go. Just stun. Try and blend in it into my hair as much as I can without making my hair orange, but it's fine. Just gonna go in with my liquid blush from Revolution and just blend that out. So it's nice. Any products that I am using, I will try and link them down below. Obviously, I can't promise I'll be able to do all of them, but I will try and link as many as I can in the description for you all. If you wanted to try them for yourself or anything like that. Now that we've done our blush, I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to use my collection one again. I've been doing this for a while now whenever I do actually bother with um, like blush and bronzer now. I'm going to use my Real Technique brush and I'm going to just blend my concealer in. After I've now done that, it just helps make it all a bit more seamless. I know that doesn't look seamless, it hasn't completely blended out yet. And now I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush and just go in under the eyes and just make that all blend so nicely with each other. And it just looks gorgeous. And I also like to do my forehead with my foundation brush because then it kind of evens out the bronze on the forehead. So we like to just do that. See, under the eyes. And then I just go in with my blusher brush and just go over the blusher a bit more just to blend those two together nicely. Gonna go in with my trusty Fit Me. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Fit Me powder. I love this stuff. This is in translucent, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. absolutely love i just do this under my eyes and in like the little bit of my nose and then i use my second favorite powder which is the rimmel in the shade silky beige and i use my big fluffy brush and i just set the rest of my face i'm gonna finish the face off now and i'm gonna use the chocolate heart in the shade oh it doesn't have a shade it just says bronzer Chocolate Heart Bronzer from My Heart Revolution. 
I always forget how much I love this. And I'm just going to use a little fluffy brush and just do my nose because I do like to just do the tip of my nose like that and then just get a beauty blender and dull it down a little bit. Then I'm going to use my I Heart Revolution Donut Blusher. Um, where's my blush brush? Again, love this stuff. It's just so gorgeous and because it has a highlight in it, like I don't know if you can see the but oh, that is the face done. So we're gonna go back to eyes. So I have these like gems here and then I have my pearls here. I think I'm gonna start off with gems. I'm literally just using a little eyelash glue. And yeah, I'm gonna start with these gems. I'm just going to see where we can stick them. Sometimes I do have stuff on them already. So I'm going to kind of hope that I can just stick them using that. I think maybe gems on the inner corner and then pearls on the outer corner. Mm, we'll see what happens. We're just going to go with it and hope for the best oh this is the only thing that bugs me is when I drop them just get them I think I might actually add a little baby pearl in the inner corner with these gems you got like the little you got the different sizes which I think is stunning I'm just going to use a baby pearl inside and then I'll put another baby one no good for I want to use you you know when you're just like loving it already I think I might just actually do those a different sizes just coming through I don't know I think I'm actually gonna start with pearls because they're so much bigger and then I'll just stick in the gems to like fill gaps. But I do like to work with different size pearls instead of just using the same ones all the time. Kind of gives me that bubble effect. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to start on the outside now with a bit of a bigger gem. And just... Oh my god, I'm loving life. I'm not like recreating the exact, no, I'm not creating the exact pattern, of course, but I'm just loading my eyes with things, basically. I think that's enough pearls. I love, mm-hmm, gonna go in with the gems now, spice it up a bit. I think the gems are so much harder to actually use. I feel like this is really bad filming on my behalf as well because obviously I'm not really paying much attention to the camera because I'm so concentrated on being able to stick these all on and stuff. I'm just dropping them left, right and centre at this rate. I wish I had smaller gems. Do you know what I mean? Just a little contrast. I feel like I need one more pearl. I feel like the pearl isn't... No! Do you know what? I think I might leave it like that. No, it looks like it's missing something. And I feel like I need to go out a bit more with like a really big one. There we go, that looks a bit better. I'm going to take a really, really big pearl, like the biggest one. And just put it on the outside. That then finishes the look, or does that make it worse? That makes it worse, okay. It's all about like trial and error with stuff like this, I find. So, yeah, but I now love that. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Yeah, I'll probably try and recreate it on the other eye. So I've done the other eye and I've actually taken the gems off apart from the ones in the inner corner. Cause I think it just looks so much better with it just like 
kind of random across the eye. Just going to use my Revolution Pink Pout on the lips. Of course, we've got to finish it off with some lashes. So I cut up my Primark lashes. These are in the style The Party. Um, and I'm just going to use the outer corners and I'm just going to stick them underneath. I can't stick on top. I don't know why. It just doesn't work. So underneath is like a godsend to me. Just like that. I love these. I did cut them up. They were a whole lash, but I chopped them into half lashes and love. I'm going to leave the lashes like that because otherwise they will stress me out that they're not sitting the same. I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, you can. But we're going to leave them like that. That is the finished look. Um, I'm out of coffee. But yeah, that is the finished look. I love it. I'm going to go and take some Instagram pictures because I'm in love. Hopefully this video makes it out to you. And if not, then I don't know. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in another one very, very soon. Bye.